Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to recognize our senior athletes from the football team. Starting with senior. Accompanied by mother, father, and his sister, Nathan Cardell. Next up, we have Senior, accompanied by his father, Thomas Biffle, Tavares Biffle. Next up, accompanied by his mother and father, Wendy and Roy Bento, Senior Dominic Bento. Accompanied by his mother and father, Melanie Raish and Victor Souza, Senior Logan Raish. Next up, accompanied by his mother and father, Christine and Mike Sylvia, Senior Ryan Sylvia. And last and certainly not least, accompanied by mother and father, Danelda and Carlos Castra, big number 31, Cesar Castro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give one more round of applause for your senior class of this year's varsity football team. Now, the only senior graduating this year from the Diamond Cheerleading Squad, accompanied by his mother, Wanda Perez, Anthony Muniz. All right, folks, congratulations again to all the seniors here on the football team and uh, Anthony on the cheerleading squad. We're going to take a quick break here before kickoff. All the action next for you on Fred TV. Don't go anywhere. Hello, I'm Kelly Susie Young, Election Commissioner for the City of Fall River. You will notice some changes at the polls on November 5th. State-of-the-art voting machines will be used for the November 5th election. These are the same machines we used in the September preliminary election. You will see blank ovals on the ballot. Please completely fill in the oval next to the name of the candidates of your choice. Most municipalities in Massachusetts use the DS200 system. Now we do too. Training sessions are available upon request. Please make time to vote. It is your civic duty. We hope to see you at the polls on November 5th. If you have any questions, our poll workers will be happy to help. Thank you. Welcome back to Diamond Regional, folks. About to kick things off here, week seven. Diamond did not win the toss. The craftsmen from BP did. They are electing to receive the opening kickoff. Kicking and it kicking it away for Number Diamond will be Logan Tessier. Down on the ground it goes, skipping Diamond. high bounce, gets Number passed 11, and is picked up at the 15. And a good tackle there from the Bengals. That was Alex Rivest. Ball Rivest. And we got an injury the right there on the, the tackle. George Marin. Down on the ground is Anthony Milso. A tough way to start the game with an injury there on the kickoff. Never like to see that. One of the 
of things, a sportsmanship type of thing that we always see, which is a nice thing to see, is that when someone's injured, everybody, both sides, always take a knee. The opponents and the team whose player got injured, so kind of a sign of respect. hear the wind through the microphone here that is going to be one thing as nice as it is today there is a lot of wind here at diamond and um at, i would assume it's going to be a factor today um sustaining wind coming from the south here so it's kind of blowing right up the field so obviously one one side will have the wind in their face the other will not and now um unfortunately we're seeing uh EMS coming over as well because there's always an ambulance on site here at Diamond. We're going to take the break here in the injury timeout and we'll be back with first and 10 for BP at approximately the 22 yard line. Stay tuned. Honor. Courage. Sacrifice, pride, our city. Fall River has traditionally been in the forefront of honoring our nation's soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen. Vietnam veterans took the initiative to secure rights to an 80% size replica of the Healing Wall for Veterans Bicentennial Park. The names of over 58,000 fallen heroes will be engraved on the 360-foot long replica wall. 100% of the money raised benefits the building of our Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Fall River. Help build our wall, which is scheduled to open in 2020. The meaning, the spirit, and the value of the wall is everyone's. Be part of this exceptional, once-in-a-lifetime project. To make a donation, please visit VietnamMemorialWall.org or connect with us at Facebook.com. Welcome back, folks. So it was indeed uh, Anthony Milso, number 30. He got carted off uh, with the golf cart. So good news is he didn't need EMS, at least not on the field. Um, not exactly sure what we saw. I'm seeing him get up very gingerly. The leg is outstretched. My guess is he might have, it's possible he could have blown out his knee. I mean, I'm speculating, but uh, given the way he was helped off, it's it, it's a good chance it's a knee injury. Good pass to Brian Leonard, but there is a flag down at the 50. down to the Bengals, 42 yards line. Penalty flag on the play. Personal foul on the defense. Oh, excuse me, it is on the offense. Craftsman not happy. Anthony Fratelli, number 22, getting called on the flag. And so the first, um, the, the catch will count because it's a spot foul. So it is first and 10, but it's going to end up going uh, as a 17-yard reception rather than close to 40 yards. Um, Ball be placed at BP's 39 So yard first line. and 10 from now the 39-yard line. Handing it off, first down and stuffed is the Craftsman running back. Got the handoff from QB Jared Linz. And on a stop for the Bengals, number 67, Corey Covalier. No gain on the play. That'll bring up second and 10 for BP from their own 39 yard line. You know, despite all the rain and the fact that this field's been used regularly, I tell you, quarterback this, for BP, number 10, the field here at Jared Diamond still looks Lynch. really good, at least from high above. I'm not sure how it is on the field, but it definitely looks good. Pass is complete, the near sideline. Caught and then out of bounds he goes. That was Jacob Lawson. By number 10, I'm going to bring up third and Jared six. Wins to number 11, Jacob Lawson. 
Ball's placed at BP's 44-yard line. That'll bring up third and five. Durfee is away for week seven. They're going to be at Barnstable. Really had a tough go of it last week in Brockton. Uh, blown out on the road. Third and five officially. Ball at the 44. Hand off to number 22. And he's going to get the first down and then some more. Fratelli making up for that penalty. And he gets a good 15 yards on the carry before being taken down by Cesar Castro, one of the seniors that was honored pregame. Pass completed to number 22, Anthony Fratelli. Balls brought down to the Bengals' 40-yard line. Result of the play is good for a BP first down. Diamond's uh, boys soccer team. We've talked about them a couple times here on Fred TV over the last week or so. Uh, they're going into the tournament. They'll probably have a home game, but they uh, lost their first match yesterday to Fairhaven. Running play and a lot of room on the near side. A flag does come in. That was Tyler Karch on the carry with the flag down at the 35. Forced out of bounds by number 18, Jaden Massey. Penalty flag on the play. Holding on the offense. Holding on BP. And that is also a spot foul. It's gonna back up 10 yards from where it happened. So first and five, it's going to end up being. So it costs the craftsman at first down. Five from the Bengals, 35-yard line. Lynn's looking to pass, going down the field into the wind, has his man, and it's incomplete. Well defended by the secondary. Pass intended for number six, Brian Lennon. Play defended by number 21, Liam Mooney. Yeah, Liam Mooney Pass on the defense incomplete. there. Gets the Nobody stop. Second down for BP. Second and five from the Bengal 35. Stand by what I say. Durfee has a nice stadium, but nothing beats being this high over here at Diamond. It's the best angle here in the city, I'll tell you. You can see every part of the field. Passing again, and it's picked off! Alex Rivest, Rivest scoops it, the interception, and the Bengals will take over at their own 30. Jacob Lawson, intercepted by Bengals number 15, Alex Rivest. So Rivest. Turnover. Picks off Linz. Diamond will start their first drive at the 29. Bengals go to the ground game here on the first snap. And no gain on the play, so it'll bring up second and 10. Now Diamond's, one of their biggest problems this season is not necessarily been putting drives together, it's putting scoring drives together. And we kind of saw that last week. Number of times they got down into the red zone and they just couldn't finish it off. And that's, you know, part of growing as a football team. Again, every week you're gonna get better and better. Another running play here, second down, should be good for about four or five yards. But again, yeah, the problem is, is you know, you Ball want to compete in the league the here. You've got to be able to score. And, and putting together quality drives. We saw some really Andre good Bentley. drives from Diamond last week. 
and then they just weren't able to close it out and get into the end zone. So, you know, it can be incredibly frustrating, especially if you're having success getting down the field, and then you're that close and you can't get it in. Tough handoff. As we saw Sylvia go down to the ground, had to really stretch for the handoff. It is a short gain, maybe about three or four. Now, four-yard carry. Mooney with the carry, but it's going to end up being fourth and a long two. Fourth and a long two here, so and not a great spot on the field either. The Bengals will have the wind at their back, so one would imagine they're going to maybe kick this away. It doesn't look like it. I think they're going for it. Trying to QB sneak. Sylvia's going to get there. Pulling one out of the TB12 playbook. And the Bengals convert on fourth down. I was shocked that they went for it. And they convert. They got four yards on that carry. Good play call right there from the Bengals coaching staff. I like it. I really, I can't believe that they went for it. I, I thought for sure they'd kick. They had the wind to their advantage. Nonetheless, Diamond with a fresh set of downs at the 42, first and 10. Setting Mooney in motion. He'll get the pitch as they kind of reverse here. Goes tumbling down. Took the hit and lands at the 45. Or just shy of. Ball carry by number 21, Liam Mooney. Tripped up by BP's number 22, Anthony Fratelli. That'll bring up second down for the Bengals. Second and eight from their own. Two names there you may have heard. Lenny Dutra just say over the PA, Fratelli for BP and Mooney for Diamond. Two players that play on both sides of the ball because uh, we just saw Fratelli on offense. Now he's defending for the Craftsman. Mooney, same thing, playing in the secondary. Now in motion again on offense. And this is not going to turn out well for Diamond. They're going to lose yardage here on this running play. Ball carried by number 31, Cesar Castro. Then on a stop, number 71, Matthew Roulet. And they back up a yard. Forward progress got them to the 43. The line of scrimmage was the 44. So it's going to be third and nine for Diamond. And the Bengals this year have had most of this success and most of their plays be with the ground game and it eats up a lot of the time because we're already under five minutes here in the first. Spin move, diving across the line of scrimmage and just getting back there, maybe a gain of a yard, but not much to show for it. Jaden Massey with the running play there, got the handoff. Tyler Kosh. He spun back in to toward the pocket in the middle of the field. I thought he had some room here on the outside, but he took the turn inside, and that I think might have cost him some more yards here. If it was a little closer, I'd venture to say Diamond would try for it again. In this case, they have to punt it away. So the long snap is good. Ball does get off, and it sails with the wind. Oh, yeah, definitely a bit of a push, and the ball will roll and be marked dead at the 23. So the wind helping, but it's a good punt nonetheless from Tessier. But today, especially with the wind, the key will be for anybody going with the wind, if you're punting, get that ball high up in the air and the wind is gonna carry it. So the more I think the more hang time you get, the further you're gonna get down the field. If you can loft it well enough, the wind's gonna take it. That was That was a pretty good punt. Almost 50 yards in the air. Not too shabby First for high school. BP, from their own yard line. BP starting at the 23. First down, Craftsman. They tend to like the same formations here. We're seeing it a lot. Linz has his mint. Nice catch there on the run. Scooping it in the air. Andre Begley. Good for the first down. 
pass completed to number 81. Ball, ball comes out of Lynn's hands nicely here. He's got a good spiral on the ball, and he's been on target really pretty much every pass. Even the uh, the interception, he had his guy right there. It just uh, Rivest took it away and got underneath it, but really. Linz has passed quite a bit. And he's looked pretty good. Sets the man in motion. They pitch it out and getting taken down for a loss of uh, five yards. Yeah, that's a tough loss. Great tackle there from the Bengals. Taken down Brian Leonard. Brian Leonard. Tackled in the backfield by number 18, Jaden Massey. Jaden Massey with the tackle. Another player on both sides of the ball for the Bengals. So second and 15, second down and, 15 and I would imagine the after the field running play. But see again, you know, they're splitting it out. Really spreading it out. Two receivers left, two receivers right, and then a rusher in the back there, right next to the QB. Linz, pressure, gets the pass off. Another good spiral and he has his man. Taken out of bounds, that's Fratelli. A beautiful pass into the wind. Timed it perfectly. Pass completed to number 22, Anthony Fratelli. For number 10, Jared Linz. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm Bank impressed by Linz here in these Massey. first few minutes. Of the plays good one of the, for a it's early in the game, but you can easily say this season, one of the better passing quarterbacks in high school football we've seen all season long, whether a home team or an opponent. Linz looks good with the passing game early. So that gets BP down into diamond territory at the 32 of the Bengals. Another fresh First set of downs. 10, BP from the Bengals, 32 yard line. Going up the gut with Tyler Karch. So they faked the little pitch there on the man in motion, then they handed it off to, to the back. By number 34, Tyler. And now he'll check out of the game. Wrapped up by Bengals, number 43, Caleb Welker. Good for a pickup of three yards. It'll be second, second and seven. And seven for BP. At Just the 29 yard line. The Bengals 30 yard line. Already down into the final two minutes here, the first quarter. Linz passing again, going across the middle. And it's caught. Jacob Lawson. Pass, pass completed to number 11, Jacob Lawson. And close to a first down here. Jared Linz. And on a tackle for the Bengals, number 31. It is good for a first Castro. down. Castro with the Result tackle, but it's right on the line BP to gain. So BP half. moving the chains again. First and 10, BP. You know, it helps to Linz, you can tell. Linz is tall as well. And so, you know, a QB that can pass, that can also see over the line, that's that's usually very helpful as well. Linz is pretty tall. But he just looks very comfortable with the ball. Knows what he wants to do. Handing it off on first down, and that time stopped at the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard to gain, we'll see, but I think it's gonna be right at the line. No gain, second and 10. Ball carried by number 46, Mike Bruna. And on a tackle, number 57, Jay Pava. Linz looking left, going across the field, and again, a perfect route and a perfect pass. That one sent to Andre Begley. Pass completed to number 81, Andre Begley. And on the stop for the Bengals, number 23, Aaron Medeiros. And number 15, Alex Rivers. And that's gonna take us to the end of the first Those quarter here. Good BP, BP looking down. very impressive. First on offense, the passing game. 
Really something here. Lynn's looking good. And at least here in the first quarter, the way that he's passing the ball, hard to believe that the Craftsman coming in with just one win. From the Bengals' seven yard line. Needless to say, we'll wait and see if they can score here. They'll have the ball down inside the 10, first and goal to start the second quarter. All right, second quarter about to commence here at Diamond. Evan Massoud with you on Fred TV for week seven Ladies high school football. The Bengals hosting the Bristol Plymouth Craftsmen. It's going to be first and goal from the seven for the Craftsmen who march down the field here. Passing across the middle, and oh, he had Fratelli there. Just a little Pass too high and through the hands. Another crossing route, though. That'll bring up second and goal for the Craftsman. Second and goal from the seven. And a timeout called by BP. Timeout taken on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, if Shaylee Rose is in the stands, please make your way to the press box. Shaylee Rose, class of 2023. If that's you, come on up to the press box. All right, out of the timeout here, we'll line up again. Second goal, second and goal from the seven. Fratelli in motion, gets the handoff, cuts through the pile. There is a flag, he is into the end zone, but again, the flag came in before the touchdown. So we'll see if this is gonna stand. Penalty flag on the play. I think it's gonna be a hold. On the offense, that is going to negate the touchdown. Penalty flag going against the Craftsman. That's a nice run from Fratelli, too. It's not going to count, though. So the hold's coming at the three yard line. At the Bengals 13 yard line. So now it'll be second and goal from the 13. Second we'll replay down the down. For the Keep an eye, now look at the ball is right at the edge of the pocket, so keep an eye on that right side. Two receivers, they're one on one on that right side, basically man to man with the defense. Look for Linz, he may go that direction. No, oh, no, he's making a liar out of me. Incomplete pass intended for Mike Bruner. Pass intended for number 46, Mike Bruner. Pass falls incomplete. 
And that'll bring up third down for the Craftsman. Let's let's be specific here. It's Bruner. There is an R. Go. Lenny doesn't know that though. <laughs> Lenny is about as Boston as it gets. <laughs> He's got that true Massachusetts, New England accent. I had to lose it. You know, I'm on the air. Through the hands and incomplete brings up fourth down. So that's the first time in the game we've seen back to back incomplete passes. Pass slips through his hands. And Actually, three complete. straight incomplete passes because fourth down for the craftsman. Add for telling the end zone fourth as well on first down. So fourth down and goal from the 13. Let's see if the Bengals can put up a mini goal line stand, if you will, here. Take one more down at it. Linz is going to pass. Going to go to the far right side, and it's going to be incomplete. I think the wind might have taken that one. It really kind of sailed a little bit. So a turnover on downs. Wow, what was a promising drive. Linz looked really good passing the ball. And unfortunately for the Craftsmen, they come up empty here. Diamond going to take over at their own 13 deep, uh, deep back in their side of the field. Take over on downs. First and 10 from their own 13-yard line. Bengals with a loaded backfield. Sylvia got tangled up on the handoff. That's the second time we've seen that. And not much doing on first down. Gain of a yard. Ball carried by number 31, Cesar Castro. In on a tackle, number 51, Caden Bryant. Second down for the Bengals. Same formation, some room, and that's going to be good for a first down. That was carried by Liam Mooney. Ball carried by number 21, Liam Mooney. Got a key block and found a lane, and he was on a tackle. gone down the field there for a good 9-10 yard pickup. Just enough for that first down. And number 81, Andre Begley. Result of the play is good for a Bengals first down. First and 10 from their own 26 yard line. Mooney again, same play. Oh, I think we may have a turnover here. This is number 21, Liam Mooney. BP thinks they got the ball. And they do. They took it away from Mooney before he went down to the ground. At the Bengals 30 yard line. Basically a strip fumble. Wow. So BP will have it at the Bengals 30. Both sides with a turnover here in the first half. The pickoff by Rivest for Diamond. And now the fumble first by the Bengals to give it back to BP. The Bengals 30 yard line. 10, Ten minutes, remaining here minutes to play in the quarter. first half. Just a couple minutes here into the second quarter. Linz, a lateral. Oh, are you serious? Down the field! Nobody home! Wow! Touchdown for Brian Leonard. He caught it. That was incredible. Brian Leonard. By number 22, Anthony Six nothing, BP, on one of the more flashy plays that you'll see in high school football. For a BP touchdown. I guess Linz isn't the only one that can throw the ball. Holy cow, that was awesome. Point after attempt here coming from Begley, number 81. 
Good strong kick right through the posts and to the fence it goes. Seven nothing BP on a 30 yard touchdown pass. Well, I mean, Leonard was just, <laughs> Leonard was wide open. I mean, and, and rightly so. Nobody would, would be expecting that. So the ball is a lateral sent back by Lynn. So all the Bengals defenders are coming up the field, Leonard leaving Leonard literally good. with 30 line. yards That'll around him. Nobody Andre there. Bagley. That'll bring the score to the visiting BP. And that's some impressive Brandon stuff right seven. there. And your Diamond Bengals zero. Just over 10 minutes here in the second quarter. Back to receive for the Bengals. So the fumble proves costly. And number 41, George As Mary. BP cashes in on seven points Kicking off of the turnover, BP, Diamond will wait the kickoff and now find themselves down 7 nothing. Taken down. I believe that was Massey. Oh, no, that was Rivest. Taken down across the 30-yard line for about a 15-yard return, 20-yard return. So first and 10, Diamond from the 32. Now what we're starting to see here is the sun is setting, the shadows being cast across the field, including our shadow on the field from the roof. Running play on first down, good for about six yards, maybe seven. Marking him down six yard carry. As a QB keeper for Sylvia, and it's a six yard pickup, second and four. Mike Brunner. Second down and four for the Bengals. Sylvia kept it again. Picks up a yard, but did not get far this time. It's gonna bring up third and three. Ball held on to it's an interesting offensive Ryan setup Sylvia. here because he's basically got a loaded backfield. Number 52. Running back, full back, half back. Three players behind him, and he's lined up right underneath, right under center, waiting for the snap. And there's not a lot of room to move. It's really congested there. As we've seen a couple times, the handoff Come hasn't been very smooth. Field. Sylvia's gone down. Ladies and gentlemen, the seventh annual Diamond PTO Holiday Craft Fair. November 2nd, 2019, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Free admission, door prize, raffle. 251 Stonehaven Road, right here in Diamonds Gymnasium. Refreshments will be available. Shop over 50 local craft vendors. Proceeds will benefit the Diamond PTO Scholarship. Please contact LDeRose at Comcast.net. Once again, November 2nd, Diamond's 7th Annual Holiday Craft Fair. Come on down to the Bengals Gymnasium. Third, down Third and two. two. Bengals from their own Sylvia line. did get the ball to the runner. Run. Ball Not going to be enough. Liam Moody. And on a stop for BP, Maybe half a yard. Jonathan Fourth and a long UPC one. It's definitely not, not quite just one yard here. It's almost two still. And it was another tough handoff for Sylvia. 
It's just I don't think there's enough room between the backs and the pile. They're not getting a good running start. He doesn't have time to hand it off. It's just way too congested. It doesn't look smooth. Offside! Penalty flag on the play. Defense jumped into the neutral zone. The Bengals going to get the first down out of it. After the flag, ball will be placed at the Bengals' 46-yard line. So first and ten, a Diamond. Good for a, Bengals. First down. a different formation first here. For, first time we see this, I see Sylvia looking at a pass. Ball was batted away. Sylvia goes tumbling down. Lucky that Silver. wasn't fumbled or intercepted. Down at the line. Incomplete. Up second down. Second and ten. Hand off to Mooney. They're close to a first down, maybe a yard Ball short here. By Bengals, number 21, Liam yeah. Mooney. Third and one coming up. Down Good run there BP, on second down. Picks Anthony up nine Kelly. yards. Gets the Bengals across midfield. Ball placed at BP's 45 yard line. Gonna bring up third down and one for the Bengals. Just needing one yard, he gets it. Oh, loose ball again, I think they knocked it out again. It's carried by Marin. Ball Luckily for him, he George did, Marin. he fell on it, but man, that's twice. Two drives ball in a row Marin's that a seen a strip fumble. Bengals got to protect that ball. First down. First and Gonna be first and ten from the 35. <laughs> They'll run it again. Massey has some room. Cuts by the defender. Fratelli. Leaping tackle, but not after. Nearly 20 yards on the ground as Massey broke through. Ball carried by Bengals number 18, Chayden Massey. Brought down from behind by BP's number 22, Anthony Fratelli. Ball is placed at the Craftsman's 15 yard line. Bengals in the red zone here, it's Result first and 10 at the 15. Bengals first A great run from Massey. First and 10 Bengals from the Craftsman's 15 yard line. First and goal. Oh, loose ball, and it's going to be recovered by the Craftsman. Third fumble of the half for Diamond. Second time, it's cost them the possession of the ball. Fumble recovered by the Craftsman. Ball be placed at the Craftsman's 18 yard line. First and 10, BP. Another promising drive for the Bengals. Ends in disappointment. Something we've said all too often, I'm afraid, this season. Liam Mooney, right now on the sideline, his head is bleeding. Forehead's bleeding, might have taken a shot to the head somehow. Good gash there.
First down run for Bruner. Gets him close to the first down marker. It's a nine yard carry, second down and one. That'll bring up second and one for the Craftsmen. From their own 27 yard line. Second and one BP. Bruner takes the handoff. Oh, and he's met by Castro. And he did get the first down, but he would have gotten quite a few more had it not been for Castro wrapping him up. Ball carried by number 46. Again, a first Mike down and on a tackle for, for the, the craftsman, but it could have been at least 10 more yards, if not more. Castro. Result that a play is good for BP first down. So Diamond has First it, excuse me, BP has it at the Diamond 31. Just under five minutes here in the first half. They roll up on Ladies the, and gentlemen, beat the four minute rush. and 40 second mark. The, snack shack. the first half. Cheeseburgers, hamburgers, pizza. Don't forget your popcorn. Oh, trying the same play, no, a lateral and they're gonna run with it. That's Leonard down the sidelines, beats two defenders and is taken down. At around the 35. Another big play for the Craftsman. Pass completed. To number six, Brian Leonard. Caught from behind and forced out of bounds by number 25, Peter Mayers the third. Result of the play is good for a Craftsman's first half. They mark Leonard first out of play at the 37 the Bengals, of the Bengals. Yeah, I misspoke earlier, excuse me. So that last play was from the BP. 30, look at that pass to Fratelli. Down inside the five, just another beautiful pass from Lenz. Pass completed by number 10, Jared Lenz. Wow. Number 22, Anthony Fratelli. First and goal and at the two. Number 18, Jaden Massey. Balls brought down all the way to the Bengals two yard line. Result of a place good for a BP first down. First and goal from the Bengals two yard line. So a false start. Oh no, BP is clapping. It's actually offsides on Diamond. Half the distance to the goal. First and goal from the one. Penalty flag on the defense. Ball be placed at the one yard line. First and goal, BP. Quick pass to the end zone, and it is caught by Fratelli. Pass Second touchdown of the day for the Craftsman. And it's their second touchdown thanks to a Bengals turnover. So 13 points off of turnovers for BP, and they lead 13-0. Begley will... Try to make it two for two with the point after. Kick on its way and right down Main Street. So with 3.55 to play here in the first half, the Craftsman up 14 to nothing. Andre the leg Begley.
Well, here's some good news for you Bengals fans. Mooney appears to be all bandaged up. The helmet is on. I expect him to return to the action here for Diamond. Scooped up. Nice, nice return. Something the Bengals needed there. That was Marin. Ball returned by Bengals number 41, George Marin. Tackled by number 56, Riley Burke. Bengals, first and 10 from their own 39 yard line. 2.47 remaining here in the first half. Good field position for the Bengals. We're under three minutes. First down, Bengals. First down and 10 from the 39. Castro with the carry. And I think he got there for the first down. Ball carried by number 31. He did. 10 yard carry. Good to move the chains. So we come up on two and a half minutes. The Bengals will get the ball to start the second half. Number 22, Anthony Fratelli. But it would go a long way for Diamond if they can punch it in here with a with half the field to go and a little bit of time left in this first half. Now the running play. And get to a point where we have to start thinking about timeouts as well. Five yard carry, five yards to go. Number 21, Liam Mooney. Mooney. And on a tackle, number 46, Mike Brunner. So the ball is not spotted where the line marker is. All messed up here. This should be second and five. It looks more like second and seven, but it's really second and five. One line judges on the 46, one's on the 47. But that's good for a first down, so who really cares where they spotted the ball? ball you know, when you have one job, <laughs> seriously. Tackle, 90 seconds to play in the half. Bengals continue to keep it on the ground. The Another first down across the, the 40. First down. And they'll run it again, it's working. Oh, he pushed through. How about that run? Down to the 20 for Mooney. Welcome back, kid. Ball carried by number 21, Liam Mooney. That'll be good for a timeout Ball as well with 74 seconds to play. Mooney almost got stopped. He pushed the defender away and said, yeah, I want a few more yards. So the ball's at the 20 now, right where the shadow is cast of the, uh, that's actually the, the gym. First and 10 from BP's 20-yard line. That's the James T. Ashley Gymnasium casting its shadow. Couple big plays here on the ground with not much time left. Bengals really need a score here before the half. If you take these fumbles away, you know, who knows what would have happened. The two turnovers have killed Diamond. That's why they say, you know, got to protect the ball. So from the 20, first and 10. Another running play. How about Caesar? Like a truck. Refusing to go down. Using his power. By number 31, Caesar Castro. Second and three with less than a minute to play. Quick huddle. Getting right to the line. That'll bring up second and three for Massey the cuts in and spins down across the 10. First and goal for the Bengals. Timeout called with 42 seconds to play. Timeout taken by the Bengals. 42 seconds here in the first half. Ball going to be spotted just across the 10 at about the nine yard line, nine and a half yard line. So first and goal for Diamond.
So here we go, first and goal for Diamond out of the timeout. Again, 42 seconds to play, they will run it. And did the ball just come loose again? I think the Bengals kept it, but it should look like it came loose on the transfer there. Ball held on to by Scary six, play for Ryan Diamond. Sylvia. And now no timeouts. They got a line right back up. Second down for the Bengals. 22 seconds. seconds Massey gets the handoff. The Massey half. going down. 15 Ball seconds. 18, Massey. Diamond calling their last. I'm sorry. This is their last timeout. I apologize. I thought they were already out of timeouts. So this is the final timeout for Diamond with just 15 seconds to play here. So still at the original line of scrimmage. Third and goal from about the 10. Ball is loose. Taken away. That's gonna end the first half. That's been the story for Diamond, unfortunately, here in 2019. What a tough break. Another very promising drive, a drive they should have had some points in, and unfortunately it just didn't pan out for the Bengals. So that brings us to halftime. We will have the third quarter next on Fred TV. Don't go anywhere. BP leads Diamond 14-0 after two quarters. Hi, my name is Laura Ferreira. I am the Director of Traffic and Parking for the City of Fall River. As the school year begins, we want to remind everyone of the school zone safety laws. Crosswalks are here for a reason, your safety. Please use them. Always wait for a crossing guard to stop traffic and escort you safely. Drivers, please use caution when entering a school zone. 20 mile per hour speed limits are strictly enforced as mandated by state law. By being respectful and patient with one another, we can all arrive at our destination on time and in one piece. Thank you for your attention. If you have concerns or questions, please contact my office at 508-324-2123. Let's have a wonderful school year. We will rock you, the theme. And that's what the Bengals are hoping for here in the second half. They had a fantastic opportunity to cut the BP lead in half at the end of the second quarter, and they were unable to do so. Turnovers, a big part of this one. The Bengals having a hard time holding on to the ball. And it's going to get by Rivest. He's able to pick it up, and he's going to go down at about the 10 yard line. Another miscue for this young Bengals team. Ball return by number 15, Alex Rivest. He was tackled by Tyler Karch. Number 87, Aiden Quirk. First and 10 Bengals to start the second half from their own 10 so yard Diamond line. with possession here to start the third quarter. They'll have it at their own 11 yard line. Tough field position there after the kickoff the squib kick got through. And they'll have a long field to work with here. Diamond, you know, really doesn't pass the ball. Don't have much of a passing game, typically just keep it on the ground. And the ground game has been pretty successful against BP. Again, the problem being holding on to the ball. You gotta hold on to the ball. And on a stop for the craftsman, number 51, Caden Bryant. To bring up second down for the bank hole. Second and seven. Evan Massoud with you on Fred TV. We have 
High school football coverage here. This is the seventh week and final week of the regular season. Oh, shuffle pass. I think that's a lateral. That should be a live ball, and it should be BP ball, and it is the fourth fumble of the day for the Bengals. And that one, I have to be honest, kind of a careless decision there from Sylvia as he pulls the helmet straps off, and I think he knows it. He had a lane. I don't know why he didn't just keep the ball, to be honest with you. He had a lane this way. You never want a chance just throwing it away like that, especially when it's a backward pass because it's a live ball. At the very least, throw it out of bounds. Take the penalty. At least the ball is still yours. Now instead, the Craftsman going to have it at the 10. First and goal for BP. First and 10 for the Craftsman from the Bengals' 10-yard line. That's the worst possible thing that could have happened to Diamond here to start the second half. Still on his feet. That was Karch down to the three. By number 34, Tyler Koch. Brought down by Bengals number 21, Liam Mooney. Ball be placed at the Bengals three yard line. Second and three for the Craftsman. Give it a Karch again, cuts in, and he does he get there? Ooh, I don't know if they're going to give it to him. I think they're marking him down at the half yard line. So third and goal, third and inches. <clears throat> Ball carried by number 34, Tyler Kosh. Then on a stop for the Bengals, number 18, Jaden Massey. Ball's placed just outside the goal line. Third and one for the Craftsman. Touchdown for the Craftsman. Bruner with the one yard carry to make it 20 to nothing. All 20 points thanks to Diamond Bengals turnovers today. Touchdown, Mike Brunner. And Begley has been fantastic again. With the extra point kicks, three for three, and it's 21-0. extra point attempt is up and good. Kick by number 81, Andre the Leg Begley. That'll bring the score to the visiting Craftsman 21 and the Bengals zero. Nine and a half remaining here in the third quarter. Taken from about the eight yard line. Ball returned by Bengals number 15, Alex Rivest. Rivest. And on a tackle for the Craftsman, number 15. Tackle down at the 30. First and 10 diamond from their own 30.
running play. And that was Marin with the carry. Short gain of two. Ball carried by number 41, George Marin. And on a stop, number 46, Mike Brunner. Ball's placed at the Bengals' 32-yard line. That'll bring up second and eight for the Bengals. Sylvia passing down the field, and it is picked off by Fratelli, the sixth, excuse me, fifth diamond turnover of the afternoon. And Fratelli takes it all the way back to the 19-yard line. Intended for number 41, George Marin. By number six, Ryan Sylvia. Pass intercepted by BP's number 22, Anthony Fratelli. Brought down just inside the Bengals 20. Forced out of bounds. So after the Bengals turnover, BP with it in the red zone first at the 19, first and 10. From the Bengals 19 yard line. Looking for more points. The wheels kind of falling off here for the Bengals. And a timeout called. Timeout taken on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder of the seventh annual Diamond PTO Holiday Craft Fair on November 2nd at 9 a.m. to 4 p.m here in Diamonds Gymnasium. Free admission, door prize and raffles. Refreshments also available. Shop over 50 local crafters and vendors. Proceeds benefit the Diamond PTO Scholarship Fund. So come on down and mark it in your calendar. November 2nd, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Holiday Craft Fair in Diamonds Gymnasium. After the timeout put a hold on first and 10, we will head back to the field here. So now, first and 10, carried by Bruner. Push down at around the 18. I think it's just gonna be a one yard gain here. So it'll be second and nine. Ball carried by number 46, Mike Brunner. And on a stop for the Bengals, number 67, Corey Cavalier. That'll bring up second and nine for the BP Craftsman from the Bengals, 18 yard line. Second down. Sending for Telly in motion, he gets the little pitch. And it's going to be dragged down for a loss. And a flag comes flying in from the far side as well, from the back judge. Ball carried by number 22, Anthony Fratelli. Actually from our official here. Brought the white cap, the it's holding the on the offense. Castro. Penalty flag on the play. You already had him for a loss. Holding on the offense. Ball be placed at the Call me crazy, but I would have line. probably declined the penalty. I mean, you got a loss out of it to begin with. So you'd be looking at third down and about 10. Third and 11. I'm, I'm a little surprised that the Bengals took it. I mean, it's still, I guess it, you know, it backs up the opponent basically 10 yards. Second and 19 now, but. Lynn's passing. Perfect spiral across the middle. It's picked off. 
Second pick of the day for the Bengals. It's Marin this time as both sides trade turnovers. Second miscue for Linz. By number 10, Jared Linz. To number six, Brian Leonard. Pass intercepted by Bengals, number 41, George Marin. The Diamond will have it now at their own 10, or actually really the nine yard line. First and 10. Running play. Good for two yards. Second and eight. Ball carried by number 31, Cesar Castro. And on a stop for the Craftsman, number 51, Caden Bryant. Second and eight for the Bengals from their own 11 yard line. Sylvia, shuffle pass that cost them a turnover earlier. This time it does work out, but still a dangerous play nonetheless. Liam Mooney gets the lateral. But that is not a play that I am a fan of, I can tell you that. Through by number six, Ryan Sylvia. There's just too many things that can Broke go wrong. Down by number 39, Jonathan, you can't see me, Batista. Ball's placed at the Bengals' 30-yard line. Result of a play is good for a Bengals first down. First and 10 from the 30. Ball carried by number 18, Jaden Massey. And on a tackle, number 54, Evan LeBlanc. Just a two yard carry that time. <laughs> second and eight. Second down for the Bengals from their own 32 yard line. Second down and eight. Tough handoff, a little bit of juggling going on there. Massey taken back for a loss of one. It'll be third and nine. Ball carried by number 18, Jaden Massey. And on a tackle for BP, number 54, Evan LeBlanc. That'll bring up third down for the Bengals. Sylvia was looking to pass, had Mooney down the field, and he's instead sacked for a loss of about three or four yards. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. It was another fumble for the Bengals. And BP will take over once again on a turnover. By number 54, Evan LeBlanc. Craftsman, take over. First and 10 from the Bengals' 27 yard line. running into a wall, and that wall being Castro. Holy cow. Karch didn't go far. Ball carried by number 34. Tyler Karch brought down by Bengals number 31, Cesar Castro. Injured player on the field. Timeout. One of the craftsmen down on the far side of the pocket.
4-12 to play in the third quarter. It's been an incredibly long third quarter with all the turnovers and possession changes. Much slower moving than the first two quarters of the game. And it's not been a clean third quarter really by any stretch. Pretty sloppy play for both sides. But nonetheless, BP holding that advantage of 21 points, all of which came thanks to turnovers. So what's the moral of the story? You gotta protect the ball. That's Fratelli. Walking off seems to be fine. A little bit of a limp. Could have, for the Krasman, number 22. could have rolled an ankle. <clears throat> Fratelli's been a big part of the game for BP, so hopefully for their sake his absence won't be too extended as he does make his way to the sidelines. Second and eight at the 25. And the clock starts rolling again. Under four minutes to play in the third. Hand it off to Bruner, who's trying to cut outside. Now we'll cut back in, diving forward, and gets piled up by the Bengals after a short gain. Two yards on the carry. It'll bring up third and six. Ball carried by number 46, Mike Brunner. Ball is placed at the Bengals' 23-yard line. Third down coming up for the Craftsman. So third and six. Backwards pass incomplete. Is it a live ball, though, and who has it? I think BP is still going to have it. Pass falls incomplete, and that'll bring up fourth down for the Craftsman from the Bengals' 23-yard line. Fourth down and six. So it goes as a loss. It's going to be fourth and 11 now. And obviously the Craftsmen are going to go for it. I mean, where they have to lose, up by three scores. He is stopped. Good job for the Bengals. Good stop on defense as they get the turnover on downs. Pass completed to number 34, Tyler Kosh. It was Karch who was trying to get there and he the could Bengals, not. Number 31, Cesar Castro. And now Massey down on the field with an injury, Bengals apparently. Will take over on downs. First and ten. Almost the same spot we saw for Telly on the field. 20 yard line. Castro also, Castro's on the far side on the Craftsman sideline. I think he's got a possible injury as well. Massey down on the football field itself. Well, we'll keep it here during the timeout. Some big dates coming up here in the city and for us on Fred TV. Um, none bigger, really, than the general election, which is coming up on November 5th. And, you know, each year that I've worked at the station, you know, we cover these elections on our sister channel, FRG TV, as the official government channel for all things city related here in Fall River, Channel 18. And uh, it seems like every election we do, voter turnout just keeps getting worse and worse. And um, while I mainly stick to sports, you know, I see it because I am part of the crew and the staff. And so I tend to work these other events 
that are going on as well in the city. And gosh, I can't stress yeah, enough, if you're a registered Jay voter, your vote is important. And even more so, an informed vote is even more important. So please get out to the polls on November 5th and let your voice be heard. It's a big election. School committee, city council, and mayor. And as uh, many of you know, there was no preliminary for school committee or city council because there weren't enough to have a preliminary. So this is your one and only chance to make your voice heard for the school committee and the city council in addition to picking a mayor. So please get out and vote on November 5th. And of course, we will have live coverage on our sister, ta our sister station, FRG TV, Channel 18, as we always do. We will also have live coverage of the Veterans Day Parade, which is on Veterans Day on Monday this year. So that'll be November 11th. Pamela Martin will be hosting the parade as she usually does. And then looking toward the end of the month, of course, Thanksgiving Day football. Durfee is home this year, so I'll be having I'll be having the call of that one live from Mac Aldridge Field at Durfee. So November is uh, shaping up to be a very busy month, and then of course right after that is we have a huge run here for Mooney. Biggest play of the day for the Bengals. All the way down to the 25. What a run. Um, as I was saying, at, right after Thanksgiving, the first Saturday in December is the annual Children's uh, Christmas Parade down Main Street, sponsored by Greater Fall River Recreation. So really, starting right away in November, we got a lot of big events and shoots that we're covering, and that's, of course, in addition to all the regular stuff and the unknown stuff that pops up from time to time. Um, so lots going on here at Fred TV Studios and lots going on airing on the government channel as well, our sister station that we also run. So we hope you'll tune in for all that stuff. And again, you know, getting back to the election, it's coming fast. You know, there's plenty of articles, plenty of information on all the candidates. Make an informed decision and do Second your civic duty. Get out the there and Bible. vote. Two-yard carry. We head back to the game here. Final 14 seconds of the third quarter. The Bengals deep into Craftsman territory. Second and eight at the 23. Likely the last play of this third quarter. Three seconds on the clock. Are they going to hold it? They got the offsides before the quarter ended, so they'll gain a couple yards, and then we'll switch sides. Unless they have a, an untimed down here because of the penalty, which we've, we've seen that before. It is offsides on the defense. Five-yard penalty. That'll make it second and three. That'll bring us to the end of the third quarter with the visiting Craftsman 21 and the Diamond Bengals 0. So that will end the third quarter that way. So the five-yard penalty will get Diamond closer to the first down. Second and three. When we start the fourth quarter, we'll switch sides. By throwing away all your trash in the barrels provided for you. Once again, we ask that you help keep Diamond school grounds clean and throw your trash into the barrels provided for you. Thank you. Final 12 minutes are on the clock here at the Harrington Athletic Complex at Diamond Regional. Evan Massoud with you. Week 7 high school football. Final regular season game. Bengals hosting the Bristol Plymouth Craftsmen and down 21 nothing. Really been a tough day on the offense for Diamond. Had trouble possessing the ball and keeping the ball. A lot of turnovers. But another decent chance here as they're into the red zone. <laughs> the 
Marin with the carry. Marin powering forward. And it should be good enough for a first down. It is. First and 10. Ball carrying by number 41, George Marin. Brought down by 87, Aiden Quirk. As the sun has set here in Fall River, it's behind the building, behind the hill, and you can see the lights on here at the stadium, casting their beam now as we've hit dusk. And it's gotten quite a bit chillier too here up on the roof, that's for sure. The wind a little more biting than it was before. From the 15, first and goal. Ball carried by number 31, Cesar Castro. Put on a tackle, number 46, Mike Brunner. Castro on the carry that time. Coming up second down for the Bengals. Gain of uh, about two yards. Didn't look like he was going to get back to the line of scrimmage, but he was able to dive forward, so was able to make something happen. So it ends up being a short gain. Always better than, short gain's better than nothing. So second, second down and eight from, from the 13. 13 yard line. Sylvia with the keeper. Spun down at the ball two. Ball It'll be first and goal, Bengals. Sylvia. Brought down by number 22, Anthony Fratelli. Ball's placed at the two yard line. Result of the play is good for a Bengals. First down. This is the closest First that Diamond's been Bengals to the end zone all afternoon. And a good chance to pick up their first score of the game. Mooney got the handoff and he got tripped up at the line. I think it's going to go for a loss of a yard. Ball carried by number 21, Liam Mooney. Tripped up by number 71, Matthew Rouleau. Shuffle pass to Mooney. Can he get there? Yes, he does. Touchdown, Bengals, with 9-12 to play in the game. Ball carried by Bengals, number 21, Liam Mooney. Result that a play is good for a Bengals touchdown. Touchdown run by number 21, Liam Mooney. Extra point kick on its way, and it's good. Tessier the punches it through. 21 to seven good. the score. Kick through the uprights by number 86, Logan Tessier. Good drive for the Bengals after that stop on fourth down toward the end of the third quarter. Big run from Mooney that got them halfway down the field. And then able to get it in here with 9-12 to play. That'll bring the score to the visiting Craftsman 21. And your Bengals seven. Nine twelve remaining here in the game. Kicking away number eighty-six, Logan Tessier. On the ground. Back to receive number two, Anthony Fratelli. 
Ball Jacob Lawson, number 11. Number 11, Jacob Lawson. Scooped it off the ground and just knelt on it. Decent field position. Why bother First getting up and chancing a turnover? Basically, right now, if you're the craftsman, this is a run out the clock situation. You're up by two scores. 9 12 to go. They'll start at their own 33. There's a lot of field in front of them, and they could really take a lot of time off the clock if they wanted to. They will run it on first down. So a pickup of seven yards. Ball carried by number 34, Tyler Kosh. And on a stop for the Bengals, number 67, Corey Covalier. And number 74, Jacob Damaris. Ball's placed at BP's 40-yard line. Second and three. Lynn's set up to pass. They will stay with the ground game. First down and more. Castro makes the tackle at the 48. Ball carried by number 34, Tyler Kosh. And on a tackle for the Bengals, number 31, Cesar Castro. And moves the chains as Ball's placed Tyler Karch. 48 yard line. Got it down to the 48. Result, but a play is good for a BP. First down. Bruner this time getting the ball. Rolling to the far side. Taken down at the 49. So across midfield on a three yard carry. And the clock continues to roll. Seven and a half minutes to play now. And on a stop for the Bengals, number 21, Liam Mooney. And number 23, Aaron McTierris. Three yard gain on a play as BP just enters Bengal territory. Second and seven. Ooh, a little jump on defense there. Almost offside. Ball held down to by number 10, Jared Lynch. It's a two-yard carry for Lynch, and it'll end up bringing up third and Mooney. five. Third down and five for the Craftsmen from the Bengals' 47-yard line. Hands it off, it's gonna be well short of the first down. Well defended. Karch again with the carry. And a timeout called. By number 34, Tyler Kosh. And on a stop for the Bengals, number 31, Cesar Castro. The Bengals call timeout as it'll bring up fourth Peter and four. Mayers, the third. Well, one of the uncertainties with um, playoff times, even if you don't make the tournament, which Diamond won't actually officially get into the bracket, is um, the MIAA, what they do is they take all the non-playoff qualifiers, basically put them into a spreadsheet, and they start handing out matchups week to week. So there is a good possibility, um, especially given that Diamond does not host Thanksgiving this year, there's a very high possibility that the Bengals will get at least one more home game. Um, and so we'll be hoping to bring that to you. They will punt it away on fourth down. Very high punt. Landing just over the 25-yard line and going to be dead at the 22. 
Uh, so, yeah, the Bengals, I, I really do expect them to get one more home game. And uh, the Hilltoppers over at Durfee should get one more as well. well Despite well, hosting on Thanksgiving, uh, they have not had a chance for their senior Bengals night yet. They always get one uh, home game at minimum in November. Sometimes two, but we always end up getting one over at Durfee um, in those three weeks, eight, nine, and ten. Weeks eight, nine, and ten. So we fully expect to see the Hilltoppers one more time before Thanksgiving as well. But after this week here, as we wrap up the week, we're going to really turn our attention to the state tournament for boys soccer. It's the Bengals boys. We've talked about it. They're in. And girls volleyball over at Durfee. The Lady Hilltoppers have had a tremendous season. Mooney with a lot of room. Almost ran into his teammate. Cuts back in. Still on his feet. Oh, how about that cutback? Down to the 20, taken down, shy of the 15. Should have been down at the 50, but he made one heck of a cut and went another 35 yards. There are no penalty markers. That run's going to put Mooney over 100 for the day. Tremendous afternoon for Mooney. Wow, what a run. That's twice he's done that today. Five thirty to play. Mooney gets the handoff. Mooney across the ten, shy of the first down. Ball carried by number 21, Liam Mooney. Tripped up by number 22, Anthony Fratelli. Second and third for the Bengals, just inside the Craftsman 10-yard line. Handed it off up the middle. I think that's going to be good to move the chains. It is. So it's going to be first and goal for Diamond at about the seven-yard line, maybe the six. Yeah, six-yard line. Sylvia spins around, keeps it, pushing forward, still on his feet. The pile still pushing forward, and he's going to be taken down at the one. Wow. Now we're it's under four minutes to play. Number eight, Jacob Furtado. Ball held on to by number eight. Brought down at the one-yard line. I'll bring up second and one for the Bengals. <laughs> Touchdown, Bengals, their second. And it is now just a one-score game. Ball carried by number 31, Caesar Castro. So give the Bengals a lot of credit here because uh, they've the had two the defensive Bengals stops in a row. Touchdown. And after getting those stops, they've scored twice. You know, and, and you have to look back now. You think all those turnovers, just one of those possessions, if they didn't turn it over, because all 21 points that the Craftsmen have have been thanks to turnovers. It's 21 to 14, folks, with 3.13 to play. You know, you have to go back to some of those, some of those fumbles, some of which were a little more careless than others that cost them some points. This could be a very different ball game right now at this part of the game. 
That'll bring the score to the visiting Craftsman 21. And your Diamond Bengals 14 with 3.13 remaining here in the game. Now, unfortunately for Diamond, it's possible that this is, this is going to end up being too little too late. I mean, stranger things have happened. Trying for the onside kick, it's gonna bounce in and go 10 yards. Oh, the Bengals have it! I think Diamond's got that football. It sure looked like it, but did somebody touch it before 10 yards? It was right on the 50. Oh, BP has it, holy cow. I don't know how. It sure looked like the Bengals had it on the second dive for the ball. Onside attempt is recovered wow. by the I mean, that was a beautiful onside kick, I'll tell you. Remaining here in the game. First and 10 from their own 47 yard line. BP has it though from the 47. First and 10. Stopped on first down. Just a yard of forward progress. So it'll be second and nine from the 49 of BP. And on the tackle for the Bengals, number 67, Corey Cavalier, and number 74, Jacob Damaris. That'll bring up second and eight for the Craftsmen. Linz passing near side to Lawson. Pass completed by number 10, Jared Linz. To number 11, Jacob Lawson. It's a gain of four. Third down and five, and the Ball Bengals will use their the second Bengals timeout just shy of two minutes. Timeout taken. Two await remaining here in the game. Craftsman 21, Bengals 14. Linz passing, incomplete on third down. And a flag being called. I think they're gonna call into pass, pass interference here. Andre Begley. Pass falls incomplete. Penalty flag on the play. That's garbage. That was a well defended ball right there. The receiver was going down to try to scoop it. He did not get pushed down. It was the receiver's motion. That's a garbage call here late in the game.
So first and 10 as the Craftsmen get a gift from the men in pinstripes. Running it on first down as we're under two minutes. Seven yard carry, he'll bring up second and three. Ball carried by number 34, Tyler Kosh. And on a tackle for the Bengals, number 74, Jacob Damaris. And number 41, George Marin. That'll bring up second and three for the Craftsman from the Bengals' 26-yard line. First down for the Craftsman with 1.15 to play. Ball carried by number 34, Tyler Kosh. And Diamond number will Kaka use its final Bengals, timeout Caleb with 75 seconds to play. play Folks, want to remind you that we are on social media. First Please ten, connect with us, like and follow our Facebook page, line. Fred TV Sports, One especially this time of year the when game. the tournament is about to begin. Time we will have taken. all the information you need regarding the state tournament. Field hockey. Field hockey seedings come out on Monday. Girls volleyball on Tuesday. And on Friday, soccer comes out. So big week of announcements next week. See where teams will be playing. Out of the timeout, first and 10. For BP with 115, and again, I believe Diamond's out of timeouts. Uh, BP can just go into victory formation here, and they will. They'll take the knee on first down and run off 40 seconds. And that'll do it. The Bengals will look back at this one as the game that got away. Too many turnovers, too many gifts handed to the Craftsmen. A one score game when all three touchdowns for the opponent came thanks to your turnovers. It's a game that the Bengals are going to wish that they had again. Nonetheless, Diamond we goes winless in the first seven weeks safely. here in 2019. Enjoy BP picks weekend. up their second victory of the season. We will also have on the sports Facebook page updates for Week 8 football. Who qualified, who didn't, and where the matchups will be regardless of qualification. So we'll also have that posted as soon as they are made known to us. So please, again, connect with us on social also, media, Fred TV Sports on Facebook. Well, thanks for Enjoy tuning in. It ended up being be kind of a close safe. contest have in the end weekend. here, but the turnover is just too costly for the Bengals. They drop it here in week seven, 21 to 14 to the Craftsmen. For Jake Fitzgerald and Nathan Saucer behind the camera. I'm Evan Massoud saying so long from Diamond Regional.